The striking death of the lappet-faced vulture named Pin landed hard at the Dallas Zoo, not just because of the outcome, but also the circumstances. What we found was deemed to be very suspicious, which pointed to this not being a natural death. That death, resulting from an unusual wound, according to zoo officials, comes on the heels of a clouded leopard escaping her enclosure on January 13th, prompting a frantic search for the animal, ultimately found close by. The next day, the zoo announced the discovery of an incision in the leopard's mesh fencing, as well as the enclosure for some of the zoo's monkeys, though none escaped. Then Pin's tragedy, seven days later. Dallas police are not ruling anyone out. They're looking at both people who work at the zoo, staff, and then anyone outside as well. So they, they're questioning everyone. On its sprawling 110-acre campus, the zoo says it has more than 100 cameras and it's doubled security. The officials haven't discussed how these enclosures might have been breached. These are considered dangerous animals, and there's various layers protecting this area. We're coming into the first layer here. At Zoo Miami, which has no connection to Dallas Zoo or the incidents, communications director Ron McGill takes us to the enclosures housing black bears and a Florida panther wearing masks because those animals are susceptible to COVID. How many layers of protection would you say there are in this complex? Uh, between five and six. Five for and six animal. layers for each animal. Just to open the guillotine gate to get to the bears requires two people. One person to open the handle, the other to make sure the lock is in place. So how hard would it be to compromise the structure? The bottom line is here, you'd have to make not one, not two, not three, not four, but five fatal mistakes in order to actually give animal access to escape or to get to the animal. With mystery enveloping the Dallas Zoo, that community is left with a sobering and sickening feeling about PIN. This is an endangered species, which makes him all the more important to long-term sustainability of the vulture population. And we're also really disturbed by the idea that someone might have intentionally done this. Yeah. It's good to know that there were lots of cameras. I'm sure they're reviewing all the, the video there. But is there any indication, Sam, that somebody may have actually seen something go down? Yeah, Hoda, it's definitely possible because officials say that the Dallas Zoo is in South Dallas in a residential neighborhood, which is to say there's enough, enough people living close by. They probably could have seen something peculiar on Friday or Saturday. So authorities are asking them to please report anything suspicious as there is now a $10,000 reward and U.S. Fish and Wildlife are also getting involved. Hoda, back to you. All right, Sam Brock for us. Sam, thank you. That's such a strange one. Isn't very curious. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I hope they figure it out. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.